case that we've been doing today, he has come to have a stenting of one of his vertebral arteries. He has a completely occluded left vertebral artery and he's a markedly stenosed right vertebral artery from which he's symptomatic. Because of the stenotic vertebral artery that he has, if he goes to extend his head and neck, that then becomes further narrowed and he becomes symptomatic from that. So in a lot of respects, he presents several airway difficulties. Because I wanted to avoid performing a direct laryngoscopy for this gentleman, given that uh, with his head and neck extension, he actually exacerbates and, and causes symptoms from his vertebral basilar insufficiency. Uh, because of the position one would ordinarily have to place someone in to perform direct laryngoscopy, uh, for those reasons uh, I chose for him uh, an LMA Supreme uh, in order to give me the confidence with, uh, with second seal in terms of uh, uh, risk of regurgitation uh, that I could perform positive pressure ventilation for him for the duration of his two, three hour uh, procedure uh, perfectly satisfactorily. The procedure itself was extremely successful. The interventional neuroradiologists were very pleased uh, with the deployment of the stent and uh, it showed very good uh, revascularization essentially in that territory. Uh, there is no ongoing pain for the patient as a, co as a consequence of the procedure. So I'm able to avoid giving sedating narcotics uh, to the patient before waking them up. So they're essentially being woken in what is effectively uh, a drug-free environment as they emerge. Uh, because of that, uh, I need to have uh, an airway device that minimizes any risk of their coughing. Again, this is another one of the reasons for my choice of the LMA Supreme as an airway device. Even in a patient like this with known airway uh, difficulties, even uh, in a patient like this uh, with their obesity, uh, I have the confidence in using a device like the LMA Supreme uh, to provide my secure airway during the case and above all to confer the benefits, especially for this gentleman, to avoid having to move his head and neck out of the neutral position and at the very end of the procedure it permits me to have him emerge quiescent uh, without coughing or straining uh, and without, in that sense, jeopardizing his uh, femoral arterial puncture sites. His anticipated uh, time of discharge uh, would be within uh, the next 24 to 36 hours.